vibrancy to the shadows, you know the deal guys. Okay, so the next thing we're taking is a Max Indian Wood, which is this beautiful gold. This is actually going to be the base for our eyeshadows, just to enhance the colors we're about to use in a second. Okay, and we're going to be using the Naked palette. We're mixing Sin and Sidecar. We're going to put it in the center of the eyelid, so where your eyeball, your pupil is supposed to be. That's where you're going to place it. Using a Sedona Lace 954 brush. This is a concealer brush. I just like it because I feel like it really packs on the color and gives minimal fallout. But since I didn't like how it was, it was too light, I just went back in with Sidecar. Now flipping the brush over, we're going in with the color Creep, which is this black with a little bit of shimmer. Tap off the excess so that it doesn't get all over your face. You're going to put it on the outer corner as well as your inner third. So the spotlight technique is what this is called. You're just going to really build on the color until you're happy. <laughs> But you won't Going back in with sidecar, you're going to place it back in the center since color was lost, and also you're going to put it over the black just to diffuse the colors and make it even. Going in with a MAC 222 brush, which I believe is discontinued, I'm sorry, but it's really defined and I want to just um, mesh these colors together so that way I don't have any visible weird stripes as you see in my other eye. This is just going to blend it out. Just take your time with this. A look like this is not two seconds. You are blending for the most part for a while. Now we're going in with the Naked eyeshadow color, which is a very, very soft, neutral brown. Again, tapping off the excess. So going in with the Bedellium Tool 785 crease brush, and you're going to put this above the crease and blend it with the crease. So it's kind of going to be blown out, going towards the brow bone. I'm sorry guys if my voice sounds a little raspy. I have such terrible allergies, and today's my only day I have off to actually do my VO. So. Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> now going in with the color Buck and again, another Bedellium Tools brush, which actually happens to be my favorite brushes at the moment. I love them. The Bedellium Tools 776. So you're just taking this and you're putting it right into the actual crease socket and blending the colors so that way you have a blown out smoky look. So just going back and forth in a windshield wiper just so I have a more defined look. Then once again I'm going to go back in with the other brush which had naked and I'm just going to blend that color out even further.
taking the color Virgin, which is this shimmery white shade, I'm going to highlight the brow bone, taking it as close to the actual brow as possible, just to give it a pop of shimmer, to add a little bit of a sheen, and yeah. By the way, the brush that I'm using is a MAC 228, which is a small sponge brush. And now we're going to go back in with the brush that we used earlier and blend it out again. And adding more of crepe to the inner corner and outer since the color was completely lost. Just be careful that you don't take away from the center colors. Now this step is completely optional. I decided to go with Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black and give me a cat eye. Honestly, you could have left it alone and just popped on some eyelashes. But I just, I love me a wing. I just feel like it really just accentuates my eye shape. So I did it. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going in with Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. Surprise, surprise, you guys know I love this stuff I use all day because it really does keep your makeup on. So again, taking it in small sections, patting it on the face to ensure that it is where it needs to be. Then for foundation color today, I chose to go with Carez Kirsten Tin and Oak Anti-Aging Foundation. Yes, that's a long word in sand beige. And I'm just going to put two coats of it just to give me a flawless medium coverage. I love this foundation. It's HD, has great anti-aging benefits, great for the skin. It's just amazing. Y'all need to get on it. By the way, the foundation brush I'm using is also, again, from Bedellium Tools. As you guys like see clearly, I'm obsessed with these brushes right now. I don't think I have anything better. But... It's the 953 Small Stippling Brush. Whoop, whoop. Now for a cream contour, I'm going in with Sonia Kashuk's Kashuk Undetectable Cream Bronzer in Rich Bronze, blah, again. <laughs> Doing it with a Sephora Foundation Brush, number 55 um, from the Pro line. I love this brush for everything. I use it multiple uses. So I'm going to contour out the face. I'm going to act as my base for the um, products I'm going to use in a second. So now we're going in with Eve Pearl's Powderless Powder. I'm going to use this to set the face and under my eyes as well. I did apply concealer off camera because I think you guys see me do it so many times. No need to see it. So I'm just putting it a little bit everywhere. Then for our contour shade, I'm going in with Colston Sense 6 Contour Blush Palette in the deeper shade. And I'm taking this on a, what is this, Very Essential to Flawless brush and just contouring right on top lightly be careful because since it is a really dark color darker than my skin tone it can look muddy so just be easy with it now for blush it's the milani Bait blush in rosadoro which is like my newfound love um it's just beautiful exactly what it is it's like a rose berry tone and i'm just gonna pop that on the cheeks right above my contour color As for my highlights, I'm going in with the Bombs Mary Lou Highlighter. I forgot to take a picture of this, and I'm just doing it in the center of the forehead. Oh, you guys know, you guys see me do this so much. <laughs> now going back in with the Color Creep, I'm going to take that on my lower lash line with the MAC 228 brush, and I'm just going to blend it out. <laughs> Okay, 
going in with a very small defined brush. I, this is from Morphe. It doesn't have a name. I'm sorry, but it's my favorite favorite brush for my inner tear duct. Anywho, you're going in with the color with actually the color Mary Lou highlighter, and I'm just gonna put that in my inner corners, meaning up with grief. Then going in with the 222 brush with no added product whatsoever. I'm just gonna blend that out on the lower lash line so that it looks it doesn't look harsh, it looks more smoky and blown out. Then for our eyes, you guys know from my waterline and tight line, I always always use perversion by Urban Decay. So that's what I'm doing now. And a little coat of mascara to my bottom lashes. I am not putting them on the top because I am wearing velour lashes, lash, lashes in the city, uh, because it will mess it up. As for our lips, I'm going in with NYX Slim Lip Liner in Rose. As you guys know, this is my favorite color for my skin tone. And I'm just going to do my entire lip and fill it in. Lastly, to top it off, NYX Soft Matte Cream in Istanbul, and that is what I have on top, which will stay on all day. Um, unlike other mattes, this actually is exactly what it says. It's creamy, so I like it because it feels hydrating, um, and that is all. That is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe, my beauties. I love you. Bye.